And now we are start to introduce this Paris hand hybrid system training platform. And our engineer will introduce is structure training content. Now let's start. And this is the circuit detection board. This is the control board. This is the press hybrid system. It contains the press hybrid system's circuit. There are many circuit detection terminals. There are three sensor signal meter. This is the aging control model and the AC control assembly and the hybrid venture control ECU and the combination meter. This is inverter control ECU. Gateway ECU. And the power source control ECU. There are many indicator lights. There are many original switches on the control board. It adds intelligent for the setting system. This is a touch screen. And now we can see the circuit from the back, and you will see the. This is the control board. The relay. Relay board. There are eight force points. It made about the sensor fault. Aging sensor fault. This is PRC control board. This is the power source switch. 它的主要功能是把那个呃 AC 二百二十伏电压转换成 DC 十二伏和 DC 二十四伏。嗯，已经呃 ，the function is transfer the DC two hundred and twenty twenty watt to twelve DC DC twelve and twenty four. OK. This is the leakage protection switch. It mainly provides power to the intelligent fault system.
This is a uh, uh, place the hybrid systems uh, main body. And you will see the water tank. This is the main body. Agent system. Uh, when the system is open, do uh, when the system oper uh, operating, you should not uh, turn off, uh, turn on, turn on this uh, tap. This is the inverter. Uh, the inventor will transfer the 206 watts um, power to 500 watts. The yellow part is high voltage, so uh, you should not touch them. This is a fuse box. This is a Rene box. This is a battery switch. Switch where switch on and off this battery. Break pedal and accelerator pedal. This is a. This is a petrol tank. Now we will introduce the training platform, usage Mercedes and the one training. Now at first we should turn on the Leakage. Um, we will turn on the intelligent for the sending system switch. You will see the indicator lights will on. Uh, this three net will mean the intelligent uh, for the setting citizens is uh, can work now. The touch screen is on. This is the intelligent for the setting citizens. Then we will the second step is to power on the um, uh, citizens' power. Connect the positive polo. Then connect the negative polo. Turn on the switch. And the positive and the negative polo should not connect wrong. Otherwise, it will break some control part. Now turn on the switch. Now we are start the system. Press the power switch. This is the main part of the OWN. Then press the blue button. 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 Then press the blue button.
Uh, then press the accelerator. The whole system is start running. You can see the fuel parameter and the overcome parameter are displayed on the uh, some number. And the US is a um, corresponding indicator as a light and the fresh money. Now we are starting to operate the gear shift road. Each time you use the gear shift road, you should press the brake pedal. The combination meter will just play the gear shift road. And now we are on the park, um, park position. We are going to the running, the running position and you should press the brake. And uh, now we are on the We are on the forward forward position. And now we we can we are do the speed up. You are see the speed is become more and more fast. 然后通过这个多功能显示屏，我们可以看到混合动力的工作过程。And you can see the whole system the working process through the mode function screen. 电池充电部分是吗？只是的。然后它它会在来回转换，比如电池电压过低，它就会自动充电。Each time we use the gear shift road, we should press the brake pedal. And now we are on the... We press the brake pedal and we turn to another position. The second position, you will see the speed is become slow. Now we are going to do the intelligent photo setting part. We go to setting the fault. Manual setting. There are totally eight fault, so you can choose any fault you want to do. Then we set this fault. Use this fault as the fault. Then set the fault. For example, this one. Then we go to the home page. Go to the home page. 然后再登录到学生界面，因为现在刚才是老师界面设置故障。And now we are go to log in the administrator's screen. 进入学生界面进入。Students. 
然后进行学生过学生考试，现在。手动故障试的时候，一定要先把这个试题要修改一下。We need to change this number to zero. Then the students can go to the exam. 点,点击开始考试。啊，有明显的故障现象。Now you can can see the engine starter work. So it already stopped the work. 通过腕表可以观察到，腕表的腕表的二级拐打，不导通了。哎，线路断开。Through the mat meter, you can see. 二级拐打，二级拐打。二级拐打 ，RS。RED。嗯 ，RED 等。You can see the LED is not、uh, connect. 嗯，线路断开，电阻无穷大。And the resistance is, uh, it it come to the max. Max range. 嗯，然后现在我们选择正确的故障点。如果是故障选择对，然后选择那个正确。If the student choose the right f a u l t 嗯，我们选择刚才设置的故障。然后，腕表二级拐挡就是这个线路嗯接通。And you can see the 呃、uh,。而且我的 LED 吗 ？LED，LED is connect and、um, 这是什么意思？接通啊，接接通。Through the uh meter um multi meter it shows the LED is already connect. 故障故障故障故障故障消除。And the fault is clear. 嗯。那我们选择正确的故障点以后，点击完成完成完成考试。Then the exam is finished. 然后返回主页面。这个可以根据嗯学教学的安排设置多个故障点。It also can set um, um combination faults. 你进入老师进入教室界面进行故障设置。看一下，再看一下，密码一二三四，登录，然后故障老师故障设置系统，嗯，然后。我们可以设置多个，可以设置一个、两个、三个、四个、五个、六个。This combination fault. 嗯，也可以所有的故障都设置。Yeah, you can choose all eight faults. 嗯，然后返回进来。After the teacher setting set the faults,、嗯、then we go to the home page. 然后这样我们现在已经设置了八个故障，然后，然后学生考试的时候进入学生界面进行考试。If the students want to go to the exam, then you just choose the students. Uh, screens, students、um, interface. 结束是吧？还弄啊 ？Now we will go to the next、uh, training. We will through the special de detection meter to read the、uh, fault data. 现在我启动发动机啊。Now we start the engine. 现在发动机已经动，已经工作了。现在进丰田，这不是普锐斯的吗？进丰田系统、啊。Choose the Toyota system。十六诊断座。然后咱先进混合动力的吧，这是混合动力电脑。嗯。要录下来多看一下。We will enter the, um,、uh, hybrid systems ECU。然后再点。读取数，读取当前码，看到没 ？Read the data。安全气囊控制模块实际通信，因为在咱这个不是车，你知道吧？毕竟是设备，安全气囊这块没有加，所以说这个肯定有故障。嗯 ，It shows the safety bag is lose communication signal. In fact, our this training platform is no safety bag. 现在下面我挂 D 档，读取示意流哈。踩刹车，挂 D 档。Press the brake pedal and turn to the 呃。下面你看，这是一个纯电动，电已经充满了。现在，发动机不工作。And the engine is not work. 再看这里，我退出去啊。然后读取，读取数据流。
Read the data. Show you level one. Data one. Okay. 看，可以显示发动机冷却液温度，四十八摄氏度。It displays some our systems parameters, such as the engine speed and the engine core liquid temperature. 发动机转速零，发动机就是零转，就是发动机现在是不工作，电已经充满了，所以是零转。是不是电充满了？大电瓶充满了，现在高压电瓶部分。The high voltage battery is full of. Uh, power. 车速九九公里每小时。嗯 ，the car speed is nine kilometers one hour. 还有什么进气温度啊？二十三度，节气门位置啊？十六百分之十六度，百分之十六。And the inlet temperature twenty three degree. 下面我加速加油门踏板。二十四了，我去。好了没？继续。下面我加油门踏板，发动机会。会参与工作。And press the accelerator, and the engine start to work. 发动机开始工作了。看这儿，发动机转速一千三百转。And the engine speed is one thousand two hundred. 嗯，这可以退出去了。这个实际项目都考虑完了。退出去，然后还可以进。发动机和变速箱部分，你看啊。And now we are enter the engine and the transmission systems to see its parameters. Yeah. 啊，读取故障代码。Read the fault code. 系统显示系统正常，因为没有故障。It shows the system is normal. No fault code. 嗯，退出去，还可以，还可以读取数据流，在这儿。You also can read the data. 主要数据流。Main data. 看，那里 shows the systems parameters. 冷却液温度四十九度。The core liquid temperature. 发动机转速一千三百多转。And the engine speed is one thousand three hundred. 好，谢谢，可以下架。车速啊，点火提前角，进气温度都可以检测出来，都属于正常的。这项，然后这这项实验都可以完了，结束了。Now our training is finished。充电了。充电了。